اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وما ارسلنا کا الا رحمت للعالمین صدق اللہ العظیم رب اشرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری واہل العقدتم من لسان یفقہ قولی Respected viewers and listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The verse which I have recited is from Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter 21, verse number 107. Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ That, O Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we have not sent you to the particular nation, or Arabs especially, but... We have sent you as a mercy for Alameen, for the worlds. This is the explanation and understanding of this verse, that we have not sent you, but for whole of the worlds. World Alam is singular, Alameen plural. Why I have recited this verse? For more than 300 years, Humanity has been seeking social justice from east to west, west to east. 300, more than 300 years. In that span, we have found many different civilizations, many different cultures, different changings in the history, annals of history. But the fact is, we have not come across to the single point where we can boast that we have found the social justice indeed. We haven't found it. Unfortunately, Islam is the only religion, either you believe or not, which has not been addressed properly in the field of socio-political economic system. Unfortunately, I said. And who is the defaulter? Who are, you know, culprits? We Muslims, the clerics, or any person who concealed it, or a failure in delivering, proselytizing those ideologies, especially pertaining to economic system, which led so many wars in the past. My listeners, today I'm going to provide from my own opinionated ideology that what is the optimal solution around this scenarios we are living in, especially the war between Russia and Ukraine, the background, the reasons why this war been, had been taken place, etc., First of all, you have to understand that every nation is trying to inculcate their ideologies to be the superior. They think that we have the best ideology to share to the world. Especially when it started by Das Kapital, by Karl Marx, Frederick Engels, written in Frankfurt, Germany, and a revolution came by Vladimir Lenin in Russia. Since then, there was an opposition or opposite force, capitalism, and both were enacted by Jewish mindsets. Because Karl Marx, it was he was like a Jewish inspiration. Frederick Engels, secular, atheistic thoughts, or maybe agnostic. Adam Smith, on the other hand, postulated the ideologies of capitalism. And since then they are fighting about, but where the Islam is? We don't have any civilization? We do have. Unfortunately, as I said before, we did not show to the people. You see, you have to understand Islam is not a rites and rituals or in other words, the Encyclopedia of Britannica, which shows that what are religions. Islam is the complete way of life. And I don't want to elaborate these points now because I have been talking 
for many years about this. Islam is not the rites and rituals. It is the complete way of life. It deals with your social laws, custom, rituals, rights. It also deals with the whole economic system, how to run a statecraft. It also deals with your political system. Not only one thing, just keep your social working, you know, rights and rituals and go to paradise. Like Christianity now, that cannot provide the solution to political system. They cannot provide the solution to economic system. Yes, they do have some small rights and rituals and that's all. Do's and don'ts, nothing. It's all relationship <clears throat> with ecstasy and euphoria with God Almighty. And then you think that you have been salvaged and extricated. That's it. But do, sorry, but can Christianity provide solution to the current problems? Any solution? No, they can't. They have to work out with their own personal committee. But can they provide through divine inspirations? No, Islam does. So this is Islam. How to solve this world crisis? We need to provide a demo. We need to provide a model. A model that whole the world can see. It shows social justice. It shows economic justice. It shows the right distribution of wealth. It shows right doing the politics of uh, this uh, political sciences. This is the system humanity has been seeking. When Napoleon Bonaparte brought the French Revolution, it was only against the political system to change the system. We don't need kings because what the difference between us and them or them or us that they are also humans then who gave them right or absolute power or authority to rule us. So he got the point. He brought this Western democracy. Manshevik, Bolshevik, communism and capitalism, the Soviet, all those wars was fought before, wars were fought before. It was not to change the whole system, it was only economics. Napoleon Bonaparte changed political system, he didn't touch any economic system, any religious system, it was all intact. But when this Soviet war and all those issues had happened, it was basically a change of politics change of economic system not religion system, religious system nothing only one man who did this all he brought a total revolution wamar sanaka illa rahmat lil alamin he is none other than the person is prophet muhammad peace be upon him of arabia the only person which brought a total revolution in the fields of politics economics and and uh, political, economic and social, only one man did it, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Political laws were changed. Social laws were changed. Economical laws were changed and not only talking. It was not only generalization or statement, generalized statement. He did change it physically. He laid the system, rock foundation of all these laws. And he gave blueprint and four guided caliphates they implemented and showed to the rest of the world. It's not just talking. We did it. Then what happened? And we boast about that our laws are from God, who is the creator, the cherisher, who created us. Creator knows what is the best for his creation. Similarly, a person who creates something, he will provide you the manual. That is the best person to show you how to use it. So we can boast about all other ideologies are man-made. And we are risen and we are standing to challenge you. We stand to challenge you. Come forward. We will discuss each of your law. You want to do macro analysis or micro analysis? We will debunk you. Through Islam, Alhamdulillah, we have the power, we have the truth. The truth which will bulldoze all other way of life. It's not about talking. Unfortunately, we didn't do this. 
Had it been for us to do these all kind of things in the past 300 years, for the past 300 years, there wouldn't be any injustices left now. Only the thing is that we didn't do our job. That's all. It is for us to do this job. But unfortunately, we didn't do it. And nowadays, we are far away because of materialistic world, fitna, the jal, the commotion and trial of Antichrist. Now we are far away. It's very hard for us to do this. But you know, as I always say, these future events cast their shadows before. And it could be in the right direction. I'm not saying pessimistic. It could be optimistic. It could be, you know, going to the right direction. But you have to strive and struggle. You can't do this. So what all the point is? How to stop these wars? You need to provide a model. People cannot. Do. This is not the age of theoretical data where you just keep giving thesis, hypothesis, and all those stuff to the people and to convince them. This is the age of visual evidence. You need to provide, you need to show the best system. How can we show the best system? We need to show one land where you can show the right Islamic system to show the rest of the world and invite those people. Come here with your cameras and all these high quality gadgets. Come and see this is the system. This is a social justice. This is the political justice, economical justice we are showing and providing. Then people will come to your lands and droves after droves, they will come to you and then they will get naturalized. But the point is that who will do this? How can we do this? All things are given to us. What are we waiting for? We are waiting for divine punishment. Allah says, Wait. That the decision of Allah will be coming on your heads very soon. And we are waiting. Allah does not guide the people who has decided that we are among the fasikhun. We want to be the transgressors. We don't want to be get, you know, healed with our miseries. We don't want to get healed. We are in gratitude, the children of bigotries. We don't want to listen to anything. We have everything. We have Quran. We have Hadith. We have Sunnah of Rasulullah. What's happening to us? What has been led? You know, who's pulling wool from our eyes? We were not like that. We are the Ummah of Rasulullah. Why have we become emasculated, castrated? Why we are spineless? Where is our spine? Why can't we straight check it ourselves? What's happening to us? What is there in front? What is the red carrot which has been dangling in front of us for many years? Why can't we see that we have the best book on earth? Quran, Al Quran. Allah says that we have sent down this Quran. This Quran that you may warn, you may be the warner of Muhammad peace. When this Furqan, the criterion, the thing which can make this, you know, between the right and wrong, which can decide what is right and wrong, is a mizan. And we have sent this criterion of Muhammad peace be upon you, that you may be the warner for the people. Warning, warning of what? Tazkira, the things which you have forgot or forgotten. Allah is reminding you for Quran, from Quran that pay attention. Things which of the past, the people of the past, have you ever, you know, observed their whisperings? You know, there are some nations, these archaeologists and paleontologists, they keep looking at it. There are many nations which you don't even know they were even existed. You know that? You don't have any data to speculate. Allah says that you, okay, you will never be able to listen there even you know, remnants are being gone. Allah says in the Quran, very clearly, that I, when I do punishment, I even make the last remnants to be cut off. Allah says in the Quran, فَقُطِعَ دَابِرُ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ الظَّلَمُ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Then the people of religious or the people, pious people, they say, Allah, we appreciate you, what you have done. The last remnants were to be cut off. Surah Al-Anam, chapter 6, verse 45. 
Do you want to be like that? Or do you want to be like the Surah Al-Hashr? Where Allah says that, Oh mankind, if you forget my warnings, I will make you forget your own selves. You will act like animal. The guy wants to sleep with his sister. The guy wants to sleep with his mother. The guy wants to sleep with his daughter. He is like an animal brute. This is you want to do it? This is what you want, your destination? No. Then Allah says, wake up. Wake up. فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكْرِ بِهِ فَتَحْنَ عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ Allah says, whenever you forget my warnings, I open all the doors of pleasures, all the doors of provisions for you. So you may enjoy, indulge for a short time in it. فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكْرِ بِهِ Meaning forgetting, forgetfulness. فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكْرُ بِهِ فَتَحْنَ عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى إِذَا فَرِهُ بِمَا أُوتُوا وَخَزْنَهُ بَغْدَةً Then suddenly I catch them from their necks for their accounts that where are you going? Then they all fall into despair. Oh Allah, why have you picked us? Why have you put, into, why, why have you put us into trial and calamities? Then they all get despair and despondent. Allah says, then when I catch them from their necks, then I do not spare them. No respite. Then I catch them from their neck and then their last remnants are to be cut off. فَقُطِعَ دَابِرُ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ الظَّلَمُوا وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Then the people say, Allah, thank, glory be to you that you have eradicated us from these evil mongers. Eradicated them for us. Eradicated them for us, these evil mongers. Oh Allah, glorify to you. This is what happens. This is the principle of Allah. He gives you chance, as Prophet says that how mean these kuffar and disbelievers are. They do association, they bring partners against Allah and still Allah is giving them provisions. Can you believe it? How ingratitude they are. Can't you see this world Allah has created to worship Him, not to bring partners against Him by mystifying theories, trinity, and idol worshipping, anthropomorphism, God incarnation, idol idolatries, making own, making your own statues and start worshipping it, or saying God became man. Allah says that this is not the world was made for. It was made to worship Him as a divine Tawheed. And once you have this Tawheed to be implemented, oneness of loneliness, this is what right Tawheed is. He's alone. Allah says he's alone. He's not one. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad is not one. Ahad means alone in nature. Wahid is one. Can you believe how beautifully this verse has been revealed? No misconception whatsoever. No ambiguities. No dichotomies that you can insert later. This is Allah. So what is the point of all this discussion? If you want to remove all these anomalies, atrocities, brutalities, provide the best solution to the world so they can stop doing these wars. Every nation, he has a point. It, it has a point that why I'm indulging, why I'm engaging these wars and invasion. Some have evil, some have good. Now how can you differentiate? You need to provide a divine criterion to judge. And you cannot do better than better job than the Quran's ideology. Open Quran and read. Every person's, you know, when he reads the Quran, he can sense that that God is my creator is speaking to me. Individually as well as collectively. No, if you don't believe that, then simmer in your own soup. You have been simmering for many years. There's no solution. We Muslims are sleeping on our backside doing nothing for long, long time. And this is what all this havoc and chaos has been going on in the world. You see, it is the time for us Muslims to wake up.
and educate the Western civilization that follow Islamic principles. Follow the system of Islam if you want to prevail. If you follow any other system, the things, they're not going to go well with you. Try. People have tried it. It's not like something I'm doing. Islam is there for 1400 years. It's not like, like it just came recently. People have tried. People have tried so many ideologies impl implemented, but unfortunately they fall into mire, into gutter. Islamic system was the only system which laid after the demise of Prophet ﷺ, after 60 years, whole of the Eastern Roman Empire under the ground of Khalid ibn Ibn. Not because they were killing people, all these, you know, Christians, typical born against, they are raising dust against Islam. It's not that. Read the history. Because the social injustices were happening there, they invited. How many soldiers went with Khalid ibn, uh, sorry, with Umar ibn al-Khattab to Jerusalem? How many soldiers? Those people, those Christians of Jerusalem, those uh, priests, they gave key to the key to the door of Jerusalem to Umar ibn al-Khattab. And he said, they said that this is the prophecy for Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 5 verse 5. This, the meek shall inherit the earth. And then they saw this man coming. They said, this is the meek, which they prophesied in book of Psalms to Jesus in the New Testament and fulfilled by Umar ibn al-Khattab which soldiers went tell me which army and when they say that you know Islam was spread by sword I said had it been for Islam to spread by sword you people wouldn't have been existed you liars you know that Islam how it spread you know Christianity was the religion which was spread by sword Christianity was the 325 AD where they said you could believe in Trinity and rest of the people were persecuted you did it. You did these, all these monkey tricks to Jews for thousand years and they were, you know, in the safe haven under the Muslims rulers, Islamic rulers in Spain and many of the not you people Christians. You were burning them. You call them, you are, the, you know, our Christ killer, Jews. On every Easter day, on every, you know, special days you have, you burn them, you rape their women. All these are written in the dark stain of Christians history. Go and read the books from your own scholars. But they to hum. What did you do when you when you have when you enter Jerusalem? Till to the knees of horses, the blood was there. That's the brutality and atrocity you did on those people. You see, don't uh, force us to open our mouths. What did you do? And when you went to this uh, Caribbean islands, and then all the chunk of Native Americans. Now you call it. What did you do with those these Native Americans? Ninety nine point nine people, rather I say that were clenched on the ground of ethnic races. What you call talking about us? Where are those Native Americans? I was in America. I lived in America. I never saw those, saw those people. Where did they go? The, the earth has swallowed them or did they flew away on the sky horizon? Where, where did they go? You killed them. You brought the Bibles, put into their throats. You changed the culture of Afro, these, these Africans. You brought them all this Atlantic, you know, Atlantic trade and then triangular trade from Europe and then you throw them and the one who speak too much dump them in the Atlantic Ocean and you brought them over there and made them slaves and put the Bible in their throats. You see, people are not, you know, stupid anymore. Don't take, don't take the, you know, this uh, advantage of our simple, simplicity. We know not. You taught us all these histories. You taught us the language. Now suffer it. Prophet ﷺ says that the best weapon against the enemy's weapon is use his own weapon against him.